Hi and welcome back and thanks for joining me again today. Uh, today we're going to continue James chapter 1 and verse 16 and it reads, Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Now James continues uh, verse 17 and he's starting to really uh, bring out the truth of God's character that he is good and he is light. But in light of uh, the previous verses before verse 16, uh, you know, James is saying here, hey guys, he said, um, you know, let's be real with ourselves, let's be real with, with life and uh, what we do know to be sin. He said, so, you know, don't be deceived. In other words, he's saying, um, let's, we live in reality, let's deal with reality. And, uh, you know, we have some very um, uh, powerful keys to, uh, you know, deal with the things of the flesh and deal with sin. And um, that being himself, the Holy Spirit, uh, indwelling in our lives as uh, born again, spiritual believers, that uh, God is with us. And I think that's a comfort uh, at all times. And so he's saying here, so don't be deceived. In other words, he's saying, you know, keep your mind and keep your, your heart in the right direction. So what does the word deceive mean? It actually means here to go astray or to go off course. And so it's very, uh, you know, easily done that if we have wrong thinking, we can quite easily go off course because we have a wrong perception of God. And uh, we think if we think that, uh, well, this is the way that God made me. So, you know, this is the lifestyle I've chosen because I'm following the desires that I have in my life. And obviously God must have given me those desires. So, uh, you know, that's who I am. So God made me this way and uh, this is the end result. And some people say that God will give us the desires of our heart. Uh, you know, there's, there's another uh, interpretation to that. I do not believe you, one can use that scripture to uh, reinforce that God is okay with the desires of the flesh. I don't believe he is at all. However, this is the very thing that James is speaking about, about brethren, let's not, us, let not be deceived. He's saying, so don't go off course and don't deviate from the correct path. And so it's quite it's so easily done to deviate from the correct path. You know, I, I do remember at times when uh, people have encountered a situation in their life and, you know, a sadness or, or, or um, grief in their life. And the thing is that, you know, God, where were you when I needed you? And I tell you what, the devil jumps in on that and he will ride that wave all the way to the beach, I tell you. And the thing is, we need to be reassured within our hearts that God is 100% good. And that there is a real devil out there who desires to steal, to kill and to destroy. And that God himself, he desires to give us life and life in abundance. But this deception, if we uh, develop a wrong perception of who God is, and especially even more so a wrong perception of sin, uh, that, you know, it's sin watered down or sin, well, it's okay. Uh, I'll be right. She'll be right, mate. I tell you what, we, things do not work out well for us. And so the word of God today, if I may encourage you, is to say this, that, you know, the scripture is saying, let us not be deceived. Let, let, let's not uh, allow uh, opinion or uh, emotion to lead us away from the things of God, that the word of God is true. And, uh, you know, the, the scripture says, let God be true in every man a liar. And so the reality is here, this sin, that uh, sin, when it, uh, is, we're enticed, and it conceives and gives birth. Uh, this is the reality that we live in. It gives birth into this physical realm that we live in. And uh, James is saying, don't think that God has um, done that in your life because he hasn't. And uh, James is making it very clear. The scriptures are making it very clear that it's the sin. It's a fruit of our old nature that really needs to be dealt with. And so uh, I just want to leave that one with you today because tomorrow we're going to continue uh, verse 17, and it's, we're going to look at the very proven character and nature of God. And so um, just let me leave you with a word of encouragement today, that if you're in a position where you, you're you know, struggling in sin, um, please just listen to the word of God, that if we confess our sin to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us, not from some unrighteousness or a little bit, from all unrighteousness. And so God is there to help us, to, to pick us up and, and to dust us off and to see us go again in victory. And, and God is for you. He's not against you. 
And so understand that when we fulfill uh, scriptural law, scripture itself, that if we confess our sin to him, he is faithful and he is just, he is righteous, and he is able and willing to forgive us of our sin. And not only just to forgive us, but to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that good? Anyway, join me tomorrow uh, and uh, we'll continue verse 17. Be blessed and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.